Dobrodošli, welcome to the heart of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So on today's tour we're going to be visiting central Bosnia and that includes exploring Travnik, Jajce and Pliva lakes. Right now we're in Jajce and Jajce is significant because it's known as the royal city of Bosnia because during the times of the kingdom of Bosnia it was the seat of the kings and queens in the royal court. Uh, up until the times when the Ottomans were able to overthrow the city, but actually this city was one of the few last remaining cities to be overthrown, so they really put up a good fight. And there is a fortress which we'll show you in a second. Just exploring this fort and finding all this cool little building. So let's see what's inside here. So you can already see some Ottoman influences. Just this shape right here. Typical of Islamic architecture. And actually this is an Ottoman style building as well because I've seen these in the bathhouses in Budapest. So guys, the bear tower. The bear tower? Yeah, yeah. that's how it was called. One of the legends says that it was uh, over here they build this, so they will keep bears over here. So everybody who is not a good boy, they will show him to bears. However, that doesn't have any sense to no one because the, the walls itself was six meter thick. So probably it was built for a uh, defensive, like defensive reason, not for the fun. If they were built this for fun, good, good job, but I don't think so. <laughs> the, 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 the other reason why they call it bear tower, it is because of the thick walls. So it's like standing very strong as a bear. So that's the, 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 the name of it. Oh, I do. Yeah, I agree. One of the things I love about Bosnia is that there's just fresh spring water everywhere. And as soon as it comes out of this little spring, this tap, it's just so cold. And especially now during summer when we're out exploring, it's the perfect thing to cool down with. This place, it, it was for one very strong and powerful country, which was last for almost 50 years. And it was last all, all, all the way till the, the, the fallout of Yugoslavia, which we'll speak as well a little bit later. So we are in a parliament building here in Jajce where Tito formed the communist Yugoslavian government and over there above the podium it says Smrt Fascismo Sloboda Narodu which means death to fascism and power to the people. We're here in the city of Jajce and right in the middle of the city is the Pliva waterfall. And it's just extraordinarily beautiful. There's just so much volume gushing down. And the reason why it's also really cool is because this is the only waterfall that's naturally occurring in a city center around the world. So there you go, in Bosnia, the city of Jajce. Hey guys, so I'm here with Justin and we are having our first chivapi. So what do you think about the chivapi, Justin? It's very good. This is the Travnik Chivapi. There you go. It's like and what, charcoal grill taste. Okay. So like what is it like similar to in America? What would you say? It's like a small grilled sausage. But it feels really like filling and kind of like clean almost. It doesn't feel like it's been filled with, you know, and pumped with a bunch of different like meats and water and things like that, like in America for example. Yeah, I think this is like very basic cuisine, but like the best of that. Yeah. It's simple elements. It's clean and it, fresh. It tastes and clean and fresh. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we made it to Pliva Lake, and behind me 
you see that we have the Pliva water mills. And how beautiful are these? It's just so green and lush and as soon as you come down into this little valley, you just feel how cool it is. And of course, the history of these water mills is that people were using them. For many, many years, they were grinding all of their grains, making flour and such. Let's go check out the lake and the water mills a little bit closer up. Hey guys, we're in Travnik right now. This was the capital of Bosnia for about 150 years. And today it's one of the best preserved cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have some beautiful minarets and mosques around town. This fortress in particular was really significant during Ottoman times uh, and the citadel inside. Today it's a museum and has beautiful views all over the city of Travnik below. As I was mentioning, the the, the place where this uh, bastion was built, it is on, uh, behind, in between two, uh, in between two springs, very violent during the winter, mountain of Vlasic and a river of Vlasic. So for, from wherever you came, you will have first one obstacle to cross and then to came over here on the wall and to fight. Even though that was not enough to stop the conquest of the Ottoman back in the Very delicious and very deli very good way of preparing the food as mm -hmm. well. Uh, some of the architecture, the houses over here in Travnik, on the opposite neighborhood of, uh, from the fortress, that is the uh, traditional way of how they were building the houses. Couple of them still existing over there. City of Travnik, uh, because of the mountain Vlasic behind us, have very beautiful areas where the where the ships are. Uh, just enjoying their life very happy time, time. <laughs> producing very very good cheese that's called Travnik Sir. Uh, also the thing that you will I will recommend to try. So that's it guys, thanks for joining the tour and I'm just ending here in Sarajevo. I'm going to get something to eat in the beautiful old town and I'm going to be bringing you guys more videos of Bosnia in the coming days. <laughs>